New color selection, remember exclusive configuration. Here is our luscious pomegranate. And remember if it looks like there are no buttons, they magically appear when you power it up. So this will be one of our first colors to go. This is a great gender friendly kind of universal gray and it's a nice beautiful deep slate gray, I love that one. Orchid is one of our newer colors. Now, if you're saying I didn't see orchid before, it's because every time Casey is here, this probably was gone before you ever even got a chance to take a peek at it. I'm in love with the sea foam. Uh, my friend Victoria put the name on the back because I always want to rename this color. It's, you know, mint, it's ocean, it's aqua, it's sea foam tonight. And then of course we've got our classic black. Then of course you are getting the additional accessories that no one in America does. Made in America, eight year warranty, 1650 watts of power. Like Casey said, no more mixer, no more food processor, no more ice crusher, no more soup maker. I mean, this does everything, makes your own bread doughs. You get this, well, I call it the twist and shout jar. <laughs> it's the coolest thing if you want to do nut butters or hummus. We're giving you a full demonstration and then the spectacular, what is the official name? I always call it the spectac spectacular spatula. The spectacular spatula. Spectacular spectacular. So that is also an additional bonus. And then check this out. Yes, there's a full uh, of course, manual, but it's basically a recipe book, a recipe book that you get with your purchase. We're gonna show you that if purchased separately, we're gonna be Facebooking live. Remember, only here at HSN, so uh, only as long as supplies last as well. So just the blender is almost $450, and then of course, a hundred and thirty dollar bonus on the twist and shout jar. Uh, so it's almost a six hundred dollar package. HSN exclusive configuration. All right, Casey, what are we gonna do next? Let's do a nut butter. Let's do it. Because you started talking about nut yeah. butters and I wanna show this off because this is included. So not right. only do you get that big wild side jar that we made that whole juice in, but you also get the twister jar. Now the twister jar, you have to do something with. The other jar, you press a button, you walk away. This one you have to twist up those ingredients. So I'm just going to power this up and all I have in here are nuts. You can do whatever nuts you want. Ryan. Nothing is better than homemade nut butter. Check this out. Okay, now what's so wild about this, if you have ever purchased one of those, you know, gourmet, unprocessed, all natural nut butters, honest to goodness, you know, they, now at least at my local grocery store, they're about 10 or $11. So that is a $130 carafe that is included with your purchase. And uh, by the way, mm. that's just the tip of the iceberg. By the way, Paul, we'd love to make margaritas. We might be doing something oh, similar. We will. Uh, yeah, we Amy, are. Amy, hello to you as well. Hey, uh, Casey, how tall is the canter, the decanter, Linda's asking? Well, you know what? I'm glad Linda's asking. The whole yeah. shebang when put together right. with the base is actually 15 and a half inches. So it does fit on your kit, unlike the other. Uh, <laughs> high-end yes. competitor. Yes. It fits on your countertop underneath your kitchen cabinets. Smooth, creamy, delicious, that. nut butter made fresh. You know, when I go to oh, the store, creamy. my grocery store, it's actually about right. 12 or $13 it is, actually. to get yeah. organic nut butter. Just go to a bulk store. Oh my store. gosh. <laughs> is that not unreal? Come on. Oh my gosh, that is so good. You can even oh, use wow. hazelnuts with some cocoa powder. Oh my goodness and get that gracious. chocolatey nut spread. Wow. These are all, you know, there's that saying, food is life. Well, good food makes for a better life. And everything that you put in your Blendtec blender is whole food. So you're only living better. You're only eating better. You're only doing better for yourself and your family when you're using your Blendtec it's blender. True. Hey, by the way, I just want to point out that uh, that the twist and shout jar, as I like to call it, <laughs> is not available as, as a whole pack. You always buy it separately yeah. if you buy it from somebody else. So that's $130. The spectacular spatula is also included. So let's mm -hmm. talk differences. And certainly everything has its place. This is not to disparage any one particular item. I actually have that, th the blender you're probably thinking of. I yeah. have one of those, I bought it years ago and it has teeth. Now why doesn't this have teeth? Well this has actually one single wing tipped cold forged. It's four inches across and this blade is not 
sharp. It's blunt. blunt. You can put your hand in there when you're cleaning it yeah. and touch that blade with your fingers. You don't have to panic thinking, oh my gosh, is the blade sharp? It is a blunt blade and that's on purpose because Blendtec engineers, the geniuses that they are, discovered that sharp blades make up for weak motors. Oh. When you have actual power behind your product, you don't need to have I didn't know that. A hey, sharp blade. You've got a blunt blade to pulverize. Casey, can I ask you something else yeah, too? Why? Please okay, do. this is probably the questions. blender that you see used in smoothie bars. But why? Why is it a square corral? It's square because square causes friction. If you have a blender at home with a round jar, yeah, round most carafe, of them are. Yeah. you get a big empty pocket in the middle of your blending called cavitation where nothing mixes this is hitting against the walls so it has oh. to force those ingredients down gotcha. okay check this out i put rice at the bottom of this blender it's okay. actually below the blade i want you to see that oh it is it's it? below the blade and i want to show you how powerful okay. this is so you could do if you have someone who's gluten intolerant you could be i mean honestly making your own rice flour your own almond flour uh, by the way paul thank you you are, are so kind. I, I so appreciate that. And I hope you guys know how much I appreciate you. You know, I, I so love and appreciate your feedback. And it's so vital to us here at HSN. I think for a lot of us out there, when I said kind of tongue in cheek, that if you've had blender envy, yes, there are a lot of great blenders out there. But this solves a lot of the concerns that people have had, even with their five and six hundred dollar blender. And again, you know, it's not to disparage anything, but blend tech, much like we, we love and like listening to our customers here, they listen to their customer. And so, Casey, if I'm seeing this right, this, th you could do gluten-free breading for wings. Exactly, this is now your tenders. grain mill. You can take yeah. almonds and instead of turning them into almond butter, put them in a little bit less and you've got almond flour. So if nice. you have any dietary restrictions, if you're on, you know, a, if you've been told to try going gluten-free or dairy-free, wait until I show you the almond milk that you can make. Absolutely. From, I didn't even know you could get milk from an I almond. Know, like, I know. How do you milk an almond? Very carefully. <laughs> uh, all right, Linda is asking, Linda, if we could respond, you know, tell her the measurements again, and then she also wants to know how many ounces on the carafe. So, so 90 ounce capacity when you put in those dry ingredients, but it will eventually settle to 36 ounces on this huge jar. Once so, you've blended everything. Exactly. Gotcha. So I'm doing a citrus berry smoothie, and to answer the question again about the height, all together, 15 and a half inches, yes, it fits on your countertop top because Perfect. that's the most important it question is. It is. is will it fit on my countertop it's a showpiece you want to show it off on your countertop and you use it all the time as well so i'm going to now right. press the smoothie button by the way as you do that casey can you talk us through this so everything has been engineered basically exactly. right so when you get this at home here's the cool thing and you don't have to call customer service because you hear that it revs up on its own it's revving up again now to go even higher the engineers have figured out the way to get a perfect smoothie. First, you slowly pulverize and crush all those big ingredients. Then you want to whip it up so you get that silky, satiny, smooth, velvety finish. Just like you get at your favorite smoothie shop. You can't get that by just guessing with a bunch of knobs at home. Right. Or you know those old blenders from the 70s. There's like 42 buttons and they're sure, all different. my mom has one of those. They're all different synonyms for puree. And you're like, what's the difference between liquefy, puree? They're all the same to me. This does all the work for you. And in the front on that um, touch screen, it counts down the number of seconds left in that cycle. So if you've got impatient kids, or if you're oh, impatient. It stops itself. It stops itself. So you Goodness. know, if you get distracted and the doorbell rings or you're staring at Instagram for maybe a little too long, <laughs> it'll go off on its own. You yeah. don't have to worry about it. Okay, check this out. We had frozen beautiful. strawberries. Yes. Do you see lumps? Do you see chunks? No, you don't. That beautiful square jar help to force all those frozen ingredients down Isn't into the that blade. dynamite? And look at this. I love reading all those incredible reviews yeah, where people go, people love it. this actually 
does exactly what you say it, it does. It does. Hey, by the way, thanks for all the kind comments on Facebook. Linda and Paul, uh, nice to see you. Mary, hello. Michael just got his foodie. Michael, you're lucky. It was sold out by the time I got it. Ooh. Andre, shout out to your wife, Evelyn, as well. Um, so, oh, why, thank you. You do uh, that. You know, Enjoy. what I'd love to do is show you that if purchased separately. And then I'd love to show you what this replaces again mm -hmm. as well. Because remember, when is a blender more than mm. a blender? It's the same concept that your favorite smoothie or coffee shop so uses. Because you can, you know, grind your own espresso beans. You can grind your own flour. You can yeah. grind your own You can meat. make hot soup. You can make hot I, can soup. Can I actually start the hot mm. soup? Because that's three minutes. Well, and then we can talk about okay, everything else going on. And remember, when we walk away, it's nice to know that the top isn't going to blow off, which I think is genius. <laughs> But the other thing is, it is engineered with those pre-programmed presets. Now, of course, you can pulse when you want to pulse. I mean, you can do a manual override. But talk about what you're doing right there, Casey. I'm making an apple carrot soup. How delicious is this? Mm. Now, if you're saying, well, wait a minute, I, I don't get how this would make soup. Do I then have to heat it up after? No, you don't. This will heat it up to about 101 degrees using just the power of the blade. That's called friction. When you have a lot of friction, it creates heat. So I turn this on and I will turn raw carrots, raw apple, Beautiful. raw onion, and some seasoning into soup. I press one button. Oh, check that out. And I walk away. And that's it. You can't a can of soup out no. of your cupboard. It, it's true. So I, in I'll, that time. We'll show you that if purchased separately and then I'd love for you to see what this replaces again and we'll we'll take you on a tour of the colors as well. So honestly, if it's a food processor. It's basically your own soup maker. Oh, thank you, Allison. So remember what I call the twist and shout jar. That's $130 on its own. It is a huge price adjustment off what just the blender itself would sell, sell for. Remember that twist and shout jar is not included as basically your special package bonus anywhere else but HSN. You get that spectacular spatula and of course a full recipe guide and manual as well. Now I'd love to take you on a tour of what this replaces. Remember, it will grind meat. It'll be your soup terrine. It's your food processor. You can crush ice. It's also your own mixer, your own coffee grinder grinder all the way down to espresso beans or french roast yes it'll make soups yes it'll make ice cream yes uh, 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 i think both john and paul were asking about will it blend well margarita maker i've actually sold just margarita makers here at hsn for 299 dollars and it's a juicer but when we were doing that super juice casey you have to remember, a juicer eliminates a lot of what we want, like that pulp the and fiber. the fiber, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. And that's what you need in your diet. Um, we're doing that hot, delicious soup, and I want to show you something icy cold, too, because let's face it, we all love, hey, I love a good, healthy smoothie as much as the next guy, but what about ice cream? What about dessert? I'm going to make Blendtec's world-famous cream skull ice cream, thousands of Blendtec recipes. You can search by just one single ingredient on Blendtec's website. But I'm making the world famous creamsicle ice cream right now that has protein powder. Good for you. Right. You could use, here we're using a bit of cream, but I mean, you could always use, you know, almond milk or whatever you want. Right. Cabbage. You're going, okay. <laughs> I don't know what so they do it, in Canada, but so this is a moms bit weird. and dads across <laughs> America are going, there is no way my kids are going to eat cabbage and carrot ice cream. Avocado. Avocado. We've got an orange, more carrots, toss them in there, and I'm going to top it up with some ice. Pop the ice right in there. Get the lid on top. And don't forget, there's an ice cream button as well. So I'm just going to show you how to access that. When you press the button to turn it on, you'll see right here that little ice cream cone with the soft serve oh, swirl. Neat. Yeah. Okay, and it does it all automatically. Uh, by the way, Rose, we, we see you. She got the sea foam. I'll take you on tour of colors again. Uh, Boho, I love the name, Boho Funk. Got this last time. Loves Ooh, it. Ooh, my soup's ready. I, soup's, the soup is Ice done. Ice churning. Soup's, soup's on, ready. Literally. Uh, Brenda, hello to you. And honestly, Ron has a quick question. Can I simply put all the frozen fruit to make a smoothie, or would it need some liquid? So if you did only frozen fruit... Actually, you did the cream you can sickle. Use, you, you can use... Um, with no liquid. Yeah, the first one that we yeah. did, which was the total juice, yep. no liquid. No We're liquid. just using the liquid from yeah. the fruit. Okay. There you go, Ron. I've okay. got my carrot. 
my delicious carrot soup that I made with the apple in it. I want you to see this. I'm going to take okay, I'll the wait, lid let's off. Wait till the, uh, perfect, oh. Casey. I just want him to see the steam. Did you see the steam? All right, did you, Against you guys my see that steam? Awesome. Thank you. Oh my you. gosh, that looks so good. And what a vibrant, gorgeous color. Look at this. Oh man. Oh my gosh. You think about going to your favorite little bistro, your favorite little restaurant where they've got that amazing homemade soup. Yeah. And you get so excited to head on over there. How about Staying put. How about wearing your pajamas Isn't at home? That unbelievable. You know what's not in here though, Shannon? It's extra sodium. I was going to say, or artificial number whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh uh, when you see that tomato soup from the store, and not to be disrespectful, you guys are smart shoppers. You know that color is not from nature, right? <laughs> yeah. So, a couple of things. If you want the the on the go blender, and basically it has its own blender base, it does. own blender base, the craft, that wonderful snap and go lid. But remember, it also works with your little, you know, solo cups. So we have fewer than a.